Sakura x Sasuke makes no f***ing sense. Now, I'm not one to care about shipping characters in any form of media, but given that Naruto is one of my favorite IPs of all time, I feel it warranted to critique aspects that I think are wrong and stupid, and a prime example would be the relationship between Sakura and Sasuke. Now, setting aside my opinions of each character specifically, I'm looking at their relationship as a whole to see where the connection would lie. And the only thing that is going towards their favor is that they were on the same team together, so spending time with people you work with would eventually draw out some feelings in the forefront. It's too bad that would be the only thing that would make sense as to why they got together. Now I know what you're thinking, Sakura loved Sasuke since they were in the academy, so her feelings for Sasuke throughout the series would be considered natural progression. Here's why that line of thinking should be completely disregarded. For starters, Sakura's love isn't love at all, more so an obsession. Just like every other female in the academy, Sakura only likes Sasuke for his cool factor and nothing more. That's essentially the same scenario where females only like a man because of what they can offer instead of who they are as a person. And even if you want to consider their time together as a part of Team 7, there's still nothing for me to know that would make me believe Sakura had genuine romantic feelings for Sasuke aside of just being a worrisome friend like when Sasuke was hurt by the curse mark. I find it very hard to believe that anything positive could come off of that alone, so for Sakura, she has no real reason to go after a guy like Sasuke. Now for Sasuke, it really doesn't make sense why he fell for Sakura. Since the very beginning of the show, he hasn't shown the slightest bit of interest in Sakura, nor any woman for that fact. Now I get that's because he was more focused on trying to avenge his clan, but that perfectly segues to my point in how even when they were in Team 7, he didn't didn't care for her existence, only contemplating it when he decided to leave the village to seek revenge. Afterwards, once Sasuke met with Naruto and Sakura in the Tenchi Bridge arc, he really didn't care for their existence given that he was about to kill all of Team Kakashi if it weren't for Orochimaru stopping him from doing so. Now me personally, I don't see how someone could stay to love a person that would treat him this badly. At this point, Sakura is one of those girls that says, I could change him to justify the desires for liking a man like him. The only thing that needs to be changed right now is you subscribing to the channel for more Naruto content in general and also by liking the video. By the time this video is scheduled to be uploaded, it should be my birthday, so my wish would be for you to share this video to people that actually endorse this stupid relationship so that chaos about two fictitious characters that have nothing to do with their day to day lives can ensue. Thanks in advance. Even if you gave Sakura the strongest benefit of the doubt, the closest you could get me to agree would be if, say, Sakura completely understood Sasuke's need for revenge against his brother, it blinding him to the point of desperation, and that she can just think that after he gets his revenge, he's all good to just fall into Sakura's lap to comfort him. That would never happen, but I'm grasping at straws to try to give an objective point of view in terms of their relationship. That being said, none of that would be considered, especially with what happens in the 5 Kage Summit arc. Word was just given out that Sasuke has joined the Akatsuki, a ninja terrorist group bent on destroying the ninja world, with one of their goals being to capture Naruto, Sakura's friend. Sakura, understandably I might add, knew it was time to put her feelings aside and end Sasuke's life, especially after having to talk about it with Shikamaru inside. However, what she does next is full blown stupid. I'm I'm not even gonna go over fully how she did Naruto dirty by lying to him about loving him instead of Sasuke since I already covered that in a previous video, but it was step one in showing how stupid she can be for loving a character like Sasuke. She came up with the idea to build Cosby her team so that they can't interfere with her plan to take on Sasuke on her own. How she would have been able to fight against Sasuke? Freak if I should know, she got mollywopped last time they saw each other. In fact, after Sakura pretended to be on Sasuke's side, Sasuke just went in for the kill. Then later, Sakura had the chance to stab him in the back, but her feelings got in the way of doing her job. Then right after, Sasuke was gonna try killing her again had it not been for the interruption of Naruto. So you got a homicidal maniac bent on destroying the Leaf Village, never showed any affection to you at all, tried killing you twice in the span of 5 minutes after telling you he was gonna destroy your hometown. Okay yeah I can see why she likes him. Then you go into the war arc and literally within the last few chapters, Sasuke notes that he's not interested in a relationship with her and that he didn't ask Sakura to have feelings for him. Then proceeded to put her in a genjutsu that made it look like he stabbed her in the heart. Then in a few chapters later, we see that they ended up getting married and have a child together. Does this make sense? Actually. Kinda. No logical person in the Naruto story would end up with Sasuke given all the nasty things he's done to the ninja world already. So if Sasuke was going to rebuild his clan, who better than the female that has been egging him on since the beginning of the show? And for Sakura, it actually makes sense for someone like her to end up with Sasuke as I doubt any logical person would be with someone as mentally damaging as Sakura. Definitely not Naruto since he already confirmed to her that she is a liar and doesn't have any feelings for him. So in the end, I guess it does make sense for Sakura and Sasuke to end up together even if it technically doesn't make sense. A catch 22 I guess you could say. But 
but still, it's kind of like if OJ got back together with his wife after all he did to her, and she just suppressing any angst she may have against him. But to each their own, I guess. So I'll pass the question off to you guys. Do you think that Sakura and Sasuke's relationship is something to strive for? What are some positives of their relationship that I may have left out? I'm curious to know your opinions, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see more tragic upbringings, click the card you see on the screen that will take you to my video on the saddest backstories of Naruto. Until next time, I'm the Curly Hokage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.